In this uh, episode of Teams Tip Tuesday, I wanted to talk about um, searching in Microsoft Teams. There's a new feature that came out last week that we noticed that is a uh, contextual search within Teams. That gives you the ability to search within a specific channel or a specific chat that you have. To get started, let's look at how we've been able to search up until this point before contextual search was available. So if I wanted to search for everywhere where someone was asking me to review something, I would use this command bar right up here at the top area. I could click in there and I could search for any keyword that I want. So if I search for the word review, that would come up across all of Teams, all channels, all chats that I'm involved in. So you'll see that there's several instances of the word review. And the way that I can narrow this down a little bit more, just doing a broad search across Teams, is I could use this filters area. So if I click more filters, then I can search just within the subject of a, uh, a specific chat. I can narrow it down by teams or a date range. I want to know where somebody asked me to review something. So I'll check the box for at mentions. That will filter down less items. So there's one, two, three, four things that I've been asked to um, review. And then maybe I want to filter it even more and only tell me things where I'm mentioned and there's a file attached right there. So I can just pop it open, review it, reply, and say it looks good to go. So I'll click has attachment and hit filter. And then now I'm down to only one item that if I click on it, there's one where Isaiah is asking me to do a final review of this particular Word document. So that's all well and good. We've always been able to um, search for things this way. We've been able to uh, only find channel or chat filters, um, filter by specific things. So what about searching within a specific group? So say I know that it's in a particular channel or I know that it's in a group chat that I've had going with um, three or four colleagues that's been going on for a year and a half now. What if I know where it's at? I just want to search that one place. Well, we can do that with a contextual search right within the channel or right within the chat. So if I go down here to the research and development, I know that the word proposal is inside of this chat somewhere. So what I'm going to do to invoke a chat just on this particular channel is on a PC, you'll hit Control F. On a Mac, you'll hit Command F. So I'm on a Mac right now. I'm going to hit Command F. You'll see up at the top here that added this little command, slash find, and it went and pre-populated the channel that I'm currently in. So if I search for the word proposal, hit enter, then you'll see the word design proposal for the Mark 8 copter just in this one channel. And it highlights that for me in the context of the conversation. I can see the replies to that. I can see the next little thread that started below that. So there's searching within a channel. Now, what if I want to search within a specific chat? There's not a great example of this because Megan doesn't have very long chats. She uh, apparently doesn't like to talk to people that much. But if I'm in a chat with Alex and I want to search for the word EOD, end of day, then I'm going to hit Command F or Control F if you're on a Windows computer. That pre-populates Alex Wilbur. And then I can search for the word EOD. There, I find that particular bubble. If I click on it, it highlights it in yellow for me. Now, something that's really cool that I just discovered a little bit ago is I can even search for file names within here. So he attached a file called Contoso Next Gen Camera something. So if I search for the word Next Gen, it will find even within the title of that particular file right there. Now, what if I know that this is a Word document and I don't know what it's called, I don't know where it's at, but I know it's in this chat somewhere. Well, that's easy. I can just do dot .doc, find that. And because that was in the URL for the, uh, for the OneDrive link that was sent to me within this chat, that dot .doc x comes up and I'm able to find that particular Word document. So this works across other teams too. If I scroll up a little bit, you'll see there's a PPTX right there. So if I scroll down to the bottom, hit Control F, search for PPT, because I know that it's a PowerPoint. There we go, I find all instances of a PowerPoint file within this particular channel. So that's searching across um, all of the, uh, the different channels and chats specifically. Now, what if I don't wanna use the keyboard shortcuts? What if I 
am in a channel and I know that I want to search for something from Alex, I can do that by invoking a command manually. So if I go up to the top here, this search bar is actually called the command bar in Microsoft Teams. If I click on that, I can do what's called a slash command. So if I do forward slash find, and then hit enter or hit the space bar, it will ask me what channel, what chat do you want to pull this from? And it comes up with all of my most recent meetings, my most recent channels, and my most recent chats that I've had. So I know that this was sent to me by Alex. I want the word next gen. I click on that, hit enter, and now I can jump over to Alex's conversation. So I don't have to go hunt down that conversation, scroll through all my chats, find somebody's name. What I can do is I can just hit slash find, type in their name or click their name from a list, and then enter my search terms. I don't have to navigate around manually. So I hope that that kind of clears up a little bit of how you can um, navigate around by searching within Microsoft Teams, how you can search when you know where something is, and how you can do a broad search across all of Teams if you just want to see something from a date range or something with an attachment that also has a keyword in it. Um, I hope that helps out, and we'll talk to you next time.